In the field of military aviation, while debates continue over which choice is better, America's KC-46 or Russia's Ilyushin Il-78, the Airbus A330 MRTT appears as a true game changer. Far from being just a flying gas station with its massive fuel capacity, this aircraft exceeds all expectations, outshining the formidable KC-46 from the US with unparalleled versatility and efficiency. Capturing up to 90% of the market share outside the United States, it has conquered not only the skies, but also the trust of the most discerning customers. But why is the MRTT so well loved? How has it managed to surpass the KC-46? Let's find out. But first, how was it launched? The Airbus A330 Multi-Role Tanker Transport, MRTT for short, is a remarkable transformation of the renowned Airbus A330-200 commercial aircraft, which has solidified its place in the aviation industry since 1998. Notably, over the past decade, this aircraft has evolved into a versatile warrior in the military field with the MRTT variant. This multi-role tanker transport now serves in several nations, exemplifying the flexibility and potential of this aircraft, from dominating commercial skies to becoming the backbone of modern military operations. Airbus designed the A330 MRTT to symbolize the next generation of advanced multi-role military transport aircraft. What makes this aircraft particularly remarkable is that it is not newly manufactured at Airbus's assembly plant in Toulouse, France, like the passenger A330 models. Instead, Airbus cleverly repurposes existing passenger aircraft, transforming them into modern military machines at the Military Conversion Center in Getafe, Spain. Additionally, some aircraft for Australia were converted by Qantas Defense Services in Brisbane, showcasing global collaboration and flexibility in the process. The entire conversion process, which takes about nine months, is a testament to exceptional technology and engineering. After its first test flight in June 2007, the MRTT was officially certified by Spanish authorities on October 20th, 10. Just one year later, on June the 20th, 11, the aircraft entered official service and quickly made its mark accumulating over 125,000 flight hours, solidifying its position as an indispensable platform in modern military aviation. The primary mission of the A330 MRTT is, without a doubt, air-to-air -air refueling, with an extraordinary fuel capacity of up to 111 tons, the largest in the world today. This immense capacity is further enhanced by additional fuel tanks located in the cargo hold. The aircraft boasts an impressive 97% success rate in air refueling operations, ensuring maximum efficiency in military missions. It can transfer up to 50 tons of fuel over four hours to other aircraft through various methods. A prime example is the Air-to-Air -air Refueling Boom System, ARBS, capable of fueling aircraft like the F-16 and F-35A at a fuel flow rate of 3,600 kilograms per minute. Additionally, it can simultaneously refuel two FA-18 Hornets using its underwing pods, transferring fuel at a rate of 1,300 kilograms per minute per aircraft. The thing that makes this aircraft even more remarkable, however, is that it stands out not just by its size, but by its versatility in a field full of competitors. Aircraft in the same category, such as the US KC-46 and Russia's Ilyushin Il-78, are also highly popular. Yet the A330's performance, adaptability, and proven success in the field keep it at the forefront of military air refueling operations. So what makes the A330 MRTT truly exceptional? First and foremost, it incorporates groundbreaking advancements such as fly-by-wire controls for its refueling boom and a high-resolution 2D-3D digital system that significantly enhances visibility for refueling operators. In partnership with the Republic of Singapore Air Force, RSAF for short, Airbus initiated the SMART MRTT project several years ago, which led to the world's first automated air refueling or A3R operation using the refueling boom. This milestone was achieved with daytime certification in 2022. Building on this success in July of this year, Airbus took the next step by conducting over 500 automated nighttime refueling tests. These trials are expected to pave the way for nighttime operational certification early next year. The RSAF is already using the A3R's groundbreaking daytime refueling capability, and other operators are expected to follow suit. This continuous innovation ensures that the A330 MRTT remains at the cutting edge of military aviation, setting new standards for efficiency, automation, and operational flexibility. 
Given its primary role as an air-to-air -air refueling aircraft, the A330 MRTT is fully compatible with key partner aircraft. According to Airbus, this aircraft has an unprecedented fuel capacity of 245,000 pounds, which is about 111,000 kilograms, providing exceptional operational range and fuel offloading capability. This is made possible by the integration of two powerful engines, the General Electric CF680 E1A3, delivering up to 72,000 pounds, 320 kilonewtons of thrust, and the Rolls-Royce Trent 772B, offering approximately 71,000 pounds, which is approximately 316 kilonewtons of thrust. For comparison, the KC-46A Pegasus has a fuel capacity of 212,299 pounds, 96,297 kilograms, underscoring the MRTT's clear superiority over its American counterpart. Do you think this difference could influence the decision-making process when countries choose their aircraft? In addition, through its extendable tail boom, it can transfer fuel at a remarkable rate of 1,200 gallons per minute. The fuel is primarily stored in large internal tanks within the wings and a central tank between the wings. Notably, this aircraft can fly 1,000 nautical miles and offload up to 70 tons of fuel in just one hour, 25% more than other competitors' tanker aircraft. And with the extendable tail boom, the MRTT can provide fuel to the C-17 Globemaster, E-3 AWACS, E-7 Wedgetail, F-15 Eagle, F-16 Falcon, F-35A Lightning II, B-1 Lancer, F-22 Raptor, P-8A Poseidon, and the B-52 Stratofortress. With the hose and drogue, it can provide fuel for the F-35B Lightning II, F-18 Hornet, EA-18G Growler, EA-6B Prowler, E-3D AWACS, C-130 Family, Panavia Tornado, AV-8B Harrier, and the SU-30 Flanker. Secondly, the A330 excels in strategic and medical airlift capabilities. Beyond its primary role of aerial refueling to extend critical mission durations, this aircraft offers a spacious cabin with the capacity to transport up to 300 soldiers. Developed from a civilian airliner, it can carry large numbers of troops and cargo with the speed, range, and comfort of a commercial aircraft. Its cargo capacity is equally impressive with ample storage in the lower deck, offering various handling options, including military NATO pallets, civilian unit load devices, and standard pallets. The A330. MRTT features two large cargo holds, front and rear, and a rear storage compartment, with a total capacity of up to 99,000 pounds, 45,000 kilograms. This makes the aircraft well-suited for rapid deployment operations, ensuring that combat-ready forces can be swiftly transported to their desired theaters of operation. In comparison, the KC-46, while also capable of carrying a substantial amount of cargo, has a lower maximum capacity of 65,000 pounds, 29,500 kilograms, limiting its ability to transport as much equipment and personnel in one go. Moreover, while fulfilling its role in connecting military forces to the battlefield, the MRTT can quickly transform into an air ambulance. In its medical evacuation configuration, the cabin is adapted to reduce seating to just 88, allowing it to accommodate 32 stretchers and two intensive care units. In a full aeromedical evacuation setup, it can transport up to 130 stretchers, making it an indispensable asset for medical operations in conflict zones or humanitarian missions. The KC-46, on the other hand, can also be configured for medical evacuation, but has a lower capacity, being able to carry only up to 54 stretchers in its aeromedical role. This makes the Airbus aircraft the more versatile option for large-scale medical operations. The A330 MRTT is not just a flying gas station that allows fuel-thirsty military aircraft to refuel quickly. It is also a cargo transporter and a troop carrier, and if needed, its interior can be converted into an air ambulance equipped with full intensive care facilities, although passenger space is limited. In your opinion, as a multi-role aerial refueling aircraft, which of its functions is the most important in influencing nations to decide to purchase it? With 10 operators across 15 nations, the multi-role transport tanker fleet has amassed over 300,000 flight hours, showcasing its exceptional operational readiness. 
This capability is further underscored by its approval to refuel more than 25 different aircraft types, leveraging systems such as the hose and drogue, boom refueling, or fuselage refueling units for large probe-equipped aircraft like the A400M. Commanding over 90% of the global market share outside the United States, the MRTT has been embraced by prominent launch customers including Australia, France, NATO's multinational MRTT fleet, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, the United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, Spain, and Canada. To date, an impressive total of 82 aircraft have been sold. Beyond its global adoption, this aircraft plays a pivotal role in enhancing Europe's strategic autonomy and security. Since the onset of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, the tanker has been instrumental in supporting NATO's air shielding missions, which deploy fighter jets and ground-based air defense systems to safeguard the skies and borders of eight member nations. This critical effort spans over 2,500 kilometers of territory from Estonia to Bulgaria. Notably, NATO's multinational multi-role tanker transport unit fleet, currently operating eight of the 10 aircraft on order, ensures seamless aerial refueling for allied fighters, significantly boosting their interoperability, endurance, and combat readiness. The A330 MRTT has proven so successful that Airbus is now gearing up to launch the MRTT Plus, an advanced variant based on the next generation A330-800 Neo Commercial Airliner. According to Breaking Defense, this new model will incorporate Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines, enhanced wingtip design, improved nacelles and pylons, a combination that is expected to deliver an impressive 8% reduction in fuel consumption, thereby extending its operational range. The key upgrades lie in its aerodynamic enhancements and engine efficiency, while the passenger cabin will also see notable improvements. These refinements are expected to boost the aircraft's fuel efficiency, enabling greater range or increased payload capacity. Beyond these physical upgrades, Airbus is also advancing the connectivity capabilities of the A330 MRTT, aiming to transform it into a battlefield communication hub. Following the development phase, the MRTT Plus is anticipated to debut for customers in the coming years, setting a new standard in aerial refueling and strategic airlift capabilities. The aerial refueling capability of the aircraft has become a critical enabler of global air power in recent years. A prime example is the French Air and Space Force's long-range Pegasi mission in 2021, covering the Indo-Pacific region. During this mission, frontline fighter jets completed an impressive 17,000 km journey to Polynesia in just 48 hours, with continuous support from the A330 MRTT. Additionally, the Royal Air Force's Mobility Guardian exercise in 2023 set a new milestone in military aviation. During the exercise, an A400M achieved the longest non-stop flight ever recorded by a turboprop aircraft, an extraordinary 11,000 km journey from the UK to Guam in the Pacific. This record-breaking flight was made possible thanks to the outstanding aerial refueling capabilities of the MRTT. With these remarkable achievements, this aircraft's capabilities not only optimize long-range missions, but also redefine the boundaries of modern air power. But can the A330 MRTT outpace the KC-46? Currently, the KC-46 leads in sales numbers. However, with its superior features and proven performance, how long do you think it will take for this shift to happen? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you, and stay safe.